Hello, hello. Okay, finally. I, every time, I should start a little bit earlier because every time it seems like I have a bit of technical difficulty just getting started. So we'll wait for some more people to join us. Hey, Laura. Good to see you. Hi, Jean. Hi, Bill. Okay, so it must be going now. So everyone who's coming in, tell me who you are and where you're from. Hi, Kristen. Oh, thank you so much for coming. <gasps> Queensland, isn't that, is, is, is that in Australia? Yay. Hi, Madison. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching the dog tonight. <laughs> appreciate it. Bill appreciates it. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Um, ooh, Kentucky. Oh, I bet it's warmer there than it is here. I'm in Iowa. It's kind of cold. So tonight I have, I was hoping to see, <gasps> Trina, hi, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, let me see here get this camera I think that shows everything so tonight we're gonna to do a couple of things and I remembered the drawing this time for the free giveaway so we'll do that at the end but let's get going I have some great projects I'm hoping to see Karen Karen are you on here Sometimes I have trouble getting the video started on my phone because I'm doing this from my phone. Oh, it says your screen is pulsating. Did you lose contact? I hope not. Oh, Kristen, thank you for sharing my uh, video tonight. You're not going to regret it. I've got a bunch of stuff. So we need to get going. So I think I'm just going to get going so this doesn't last to be like six hours long. But welcome to Piccadilly Stamping. You can find me www.piccadillystamping.com Also, if you found me here on my Facebook page, go ahead share it with your friends. I would have really appreciate that. Um, I usually try to do some sort of a drawing uh, for those who share my live videos while I'm on Facebook. So, thank you Kristen for doing that. Hi Madison. <laughs> Izzy's watching too. Great. <laughs> Okay, so tonight um, I am still so super in love with the Occasions catalog and I am going to be featuring this stamp set and people who went to our on stage were able to get this um, when they registered to join and I was not able to do that in November. I am going to be going in April though for the live on stage presentation and it'll show like our new annual catalog and I'm excited about that. But um, they had a giveaway and this is one of the stamp sets and I knew I needed to have it. I saw people coming home with it and I've got uh, at least four demonstrations to do tonight with this stamp set and um, oh, we'll see if I'm feeling generous enough to show you some things that are coming um, here um, on a couple blog posts I got. Um, this is called Lovely Wishes and what I like about this stamp set is it's photopolymer and we're going to be using almost every single one tonight. Maybe not these two in, in the, the stuff, every single stamp that's stamp in the stamp set. But um, I have been craving for some warmer weather to come. So thank you, Monica, for sharing. So I have been kind of in a spring-summer mood, and that these are all the different colors that we're going to use tonight on these cards. So... Um, I think they're bright and festive. So let's get going on this. 
Now, I'm starting very simplest first, and so this time I'm going to call this a note card because we can do this a couple ways and maybe you're going to help me um, do this tonight. We're going to use the Lovely Wishes stamp set. We're going to be using uh, Lemon Lime and Mambo and Basic Black and White. So let's see. Here we go. Melon Mambo, Lemon Lime Twist. I love the brightness of this. So let's just start. I have taken a 8.5 by 11 um, 11 by eight and a half card stock and I cut it in half and then I have just folded it in half for the base and then um, the melon mambo is cut at three and a quarter by four and a half and then the white paper is cut at three by four and a quarter so you get a nice little um, layer this is how stinking easy this is so we're gonna open this up and open this up and get our stamps and blocks. So I'm gonna start with this kind of flourish image. And I'm just going to place it on my block. What I like about the photopolymer is that they're see-through, so for placement, that's awesome. And I think, where do I wanna? I think I'm gonna do this way. And I'm just gonna use some black ink. Um, I grabbed the Memento. Normally I'm more of an archival ink person, but Memento was on top, so we're going to stick with it. This is the Tuxedo Black. So I ink it up nice and good, and then I want to take the corner of this flourish, and I want to put it in the corner here of my cardstock. So, you know what I forgot? I should have been stamping this on the mat, so I'll get that in. Not bad, though. So normally I use our stamp and Pearson mat just for a little bit of cushion because instead of the rubber stamps, the photopolymer doesn't have any kind of cush and it usually gives you a, a crisper, cleaner image. So, am I in camera? Can you guys see me or do I need... Oh, Karen, you did make it. Yay! I'm excited. Okay. Um, let me get my hands maybe up. I had to stop and look at the screen. So I got the flourish image down there, and then, oh, that's kind of a medium. So they have the flowers that you can color it in, and it, this kind of looks like the right, and I'm going to get a smaller block. Sometimes too big, you end up kind of getting it into the, I'm going to put a little scrap piece behind here. Okay, I'm going to start off, and I always like to test them. So I like that full strength and stamped off. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do to color this in. I'm going to use the Melon Mambo ink that matches the Melon Mambo paper. And I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to stamp it, but it doesn't quite fill it in the way I want to. And I'm not going to re-ink it again. I'm just going to stamp it so it kind of fans over there just to kind of fill that in. doesn't have to be perfect. That's another reason why I like this set. It's kind of suggestive. Um, and then they have this one, so it kind of matches that flourish, and you can color it in. I'm going to go back to my bigger block here. And so you, because you can see through it, it's great for placement. So hopefully I won't get my big old head in here. But... because it's hard to see otherwise. But it doesn't matter if it's really perfect or not, because for me, I'm kind of all about this stamping it, and I'm going to go ahead and stamping it again, and just moving it. I mean, so it kind of looks like a watercolored image. You know, it's kind of outside the lines. Ta-da! I think that gives some good color to it. block and now so when you place this behind here you see how it brought that color out and I'm gonna look at the screen to see oh Beverly you just warmed my heart up 
Now I have to send you a Valentine. Just she says you amaze and inspire me. <laughs> what a sweetheart. So, um, okay, so that shows you the color. Now you can leave this. I called this a note card because you could just leave it like this. Um, but I got to looking at this thing and I ended up placing it this away. And I thought we have this other stamp set. This is the only other stamp set that I'm going to use tonight. I'm only going to use it for this one little piece. But it, it doesn't get talked about much. It's called Here For You. And it has all kinds of sayings on it. You know, um, so sorry you're hurting. I'm here for you. But sometimes life is a pain in the neck. And sometimes I just want to send someone who I know is struggling. Sometimes life's a pain in the neck. I'm here for you. So I thought I would just start with that. And this is a rubber stamp, so I don't need the mat underneath of it because there's some cush. It comes with a cush. But until I get my Stamparatus, I'm going to still use the stamp -a Majig. It is... Now you can see I've got that wonky on here. I mean, try your best to get it as straight as possible. And I don't put the stickers on it because I like how they stick better without. But um, I'm going to go ahead and ink that up in the Tuxedo Black again, the Memento ink. And I'm going to use the stamp of my jig by just butting the plastic up to the T edge, stamping it on the plastic. Now I have a piece of plastic that I can line up. And what I liked about this one, and let me get this on here. Is that I can line it up and then ink it up and get it exactly where I want it to go. Love it. So in my Stampin' Arsenal is the stamp -a majig but we're coming out with the Stamparatus that I'm pretty excited about. Okay, so now I've taken just a simple note card, made a simple note card with one uh, layer here. I'm just going to mat it onto the Melon Mambo. If my fingers will allow me to grab it. I like to use the green glue because see how I'm not very good at lining it up. It gives you a second to kind of manipulate it into place. Okay, perfect. So if I wanted to, I could just glue that back on or I could use some dimensionals, which I think that's what I'll do. And then pop it up. So it's a simple note card. This is great for a new stamper, a new card maker. And I'm having a hard time seeing if I got it even. I kind of do. There we go. Um, then you know you can put I'm here for you or how about sometimes life's a pain in the neck hang in there because you got this little hanging flower. So I thought it was kind of cute. And very simple, very sweet for the first card. And we're going to kind of step it up as we go. So that's card number one. And you know what? The minute I do that, I'm going to... We'll come back to it. Okay. Card number two is what I'm going to call one of a kind. Because this time... Let me get my box of goodies out. We're going to throw some ribbon on it and use some scrap paper. So I, I have the same thing. I've got um, Peekaboo Peach and Lemon Lime Twist. So that, that's these two colors this time. Let me get that out of the way. And then I'm done with this stamp set for the whole night. I try to keep it to just one if I can, but I do like to show how you can um, mix it up. Okay, so this one, the reason why I'm starting, I call it one of a kind, is because the stamp is You Are One of a Kind. 
that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to do another simple card, but we're going to step it up just a little bit. So it is a white card base, and then I have a four by five and a quarter piece of white. So I'm doing white on white, which I, I really do like. So to start this card, I'm going to go in. This is our Peekaboo Peach, and this is the seam binding, crinkled seam binding. Some love it, some hate it. I can't imagine hating it, but I love it. So I'm going to use it because I think it's super pretty, and it's way easy to work with. Plus, because it's so fine and thin, you can mail it with no extra charge, and I love that, even if you make a bow. So I'm going to start and use just a little bit of Fast Fuse, which, by the way, tomorrow our Fast Fuse goes on sale, so you can buy the Fast Fuse and you get two refills for it for free, which is pretty incredible. Okay, so I think I just want it, oh, maybe three-quarter inch in, an inch in. What is that? Oh, about an inch in, yeah. So I'm going to just use it to put a mark down at the top and bottom just to hold this ribbon on. And once I get, this stuff is really sticky. I mean, it's not like snail. It's really sticky. So let's get it straight going across. And it's hard because that crinkling kind of screws you up a little bit. And then I'll use the paper snips and just cut that off. And while I'm here, I know that I'm going to do a bow, and I tend to be bow challenged, but this stuff is easier for me to do a bow with. So you make the little bunny ear, you go around the bunny ear, keeping it as flat and straight as possible, then you poke the little bunny ear up through. See, I told you I'm bow challenged. <laughs> okay, it's coming. You have to work with it a little. That's a huge super bow. Okay, it's coming. I want it probably like so. So I'm going to trim the end kind of at a diagonal, and then I'm going to trim this one at a diagonal, throw that excess away, and then I'm going to put my ribbon away. Not bad, not bad for my image. Now I'm going to use the black again, and because this is a photopolymer stamp, you're one of a kind, I'm going to put that down here at the bottom. Making sure that's good and inky so I can see where it goes and I just got snarfo on my block. That's a technical term, snarfo. Okay. There we go. <sighs> Gotta remember to put that mat underneath. But we're going to come back. I want to use, I have the Starburst Punch, and I'm going to use that in the Lemon Lime Twist, and it just makes a, a Starburst. So I'm going to put it in, punch that out. That gets thrown into my scraps. And then I'm going to use a 2-inch punch, and I'm going to stamp first before I punch it, but... Let's see. Let's use this one. And I'll get another block. This is the little tulipy one. I should just tap one more time, huh? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, so stamp that on there, like so, perfect. I'm gonna 
put my stamps away. Sometimes the clear ones, if you don't put them away right away, then you're looking for them. What did I do with that? Okay, so now this stamp set also has some, I'm going to get a smaller block here. I make such a mess when I stamp. Um, like images to fill in for your um, flower. In fact, let's just start with this. We'll just start with the little floral image or the colored, the solid image here. And of course, like me, I like to test. So test it out. Okay, press a little harder for a little more color. Okay, this isn't going to color the whole thing, and you can, I'm just starting at the base and kind of matching it up. You can leave it like that, but again, I'm going to go a little outside the line so it looks kind of like artsy-fartsy, or at least I think I am. That's all I have to impress, right? And then it has a matching little kind of a solid leaf image that you can put color in. So that's what I'm going to do next is use the lemon lime twist. Boy, I'm getting messy all over here quick. So I want to test that. Yep, I like that full strength. Now you can see to line these up, but again, I kind of like that I don't know that look where it's just kind of a little off. For this one, I'll do it as good as I can with the camera there. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, pretty. Now, I want to take that two inch circle punch and I want to punch this out. So I'm going to slip it in. And you can have it more on one side if you wanted to do the sentiment there instead of what I'm going to do. But I'm going to have him kind of center. And he can be... I would rather have a little of this cut off than the top. And I'm going to do that because I'm going to place a bow on this. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I guess I was off camera. Sorry about that. Sometimes I wish... Facebook Live had a way that you could like tell me, move on camera, move on camera. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down to the back of the Starburst Punch. And this gives me just a minute. Yay. Okay. Now the only thing that's going to add a lot, and I don't know that the camera will pick it up, but this is a clear wink of Stella, and it adds just a little bit of glimmer to your projects. It's like a little shimmer, maybe. It's not so much glitter as a shimmer, and I don't know. I will try to get that. I don't, I'm trying to see where the camera is. Does it show any? I don't know if it does. Okay, we're going to keep moving on though. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to come back and get some more dimensionals. And I'm going to put, oh, probably about three here on the back of this. And then I am going to stick this on my Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Then I'm going to go in for glue dots and attach this bow. And like I said, it looks all fluffy but it just lays flat in the mail. 
See where I'm going with this? Okay, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to get some more dimensionals. So, all of you who have been following me for a while, normally I'm pretty nervous. I was more excited tonight than I have been just because this kind of simple stamping is, that's my thing. I like kind of clean looking um, cards. I mean, I'm not Hallmark. It's a hand stamped card and I do try to do some artsy fartsy stuff, but I think I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself to show you every technique every time and I think I just need to get over myself on that because I'm a pretty decent stamper. Okay, so then I'm just going to pop it up here. Okay, now I'm turning my head to look. Um, give me some love if you like it. I'll hold it up. Oh, Kristen Tatum joined. Hi, Kristen. Good to see you. Yay. Okay, I see you guys are liking that. Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to set that aside too, and then we'll go on to the next project after I clean up the tornado disaster that is going on here. Okay, so sticking with the same stamp set. I'm going to go on to the next one. Now I'm going to step it up a notch. So last time we added ribbon to our... This one I'm going to call Lovely Day. And this time we're going to add ribbon again, but we're going to add an embossing folder. So let me get that stuff out. Okay, now, anybody who knows me, if Andrea's on here, it's Bermuda Bay, yes it is. So, I love Bermuda Bay. Um, stamp set is, again, the Lovely Wishes, Bermuda Bay Lemon Lime Twist, and we're going to do some just black and white with it. So, I've got kind of a theme going here. I'm kind of showing you how to build cards up using just... A few papers you don't need much just a few papers a good you know whisper white and basic black um, and then some of your favorite colors to go with it maybe some ribbon this time I'm going to add the dynamic layers embossing folder and I think I'm going to start with that my husband is actually the one who said some people who are new to stamping don't know about your big shots machine so I'm just going to show you this really quick and I have been getting some um, therapy on my shoulders lately, so please excuse me because this hurts to lift. I should have Bill helping me. You could be my assistant, Bill. Okay, so this is a Big Shots machine, and so... Um, it comes with the Big Shot platform and then the thin die adapter and then a couple of um, acrylic sheets that teaches you how to make a sandwich. And we'll be doing some die cutting here um, on the next card, but um, you need this one for the die cut and then you put the die cut in the paper here and then you put this on top and then you run it through the machine. But because, and then normally you would use two pieces always to go through with an embossing folder but because this embossing folder is thicker it's called a dynamic embossing folder this one's called layered leaves and because it is a dynamic folder it's thicker and you only need and you're not going to be cutting on anything because you don't ever want to put anything cutting onto your platform but you only need one to do this and so right now we're just going to take that whisper white sheet of paper and we're going to put it in here in the middle and this one is called layered leaves and stick it on on top of the platform 
this is the sandwich for this one and then I did show you that that was a I better hold this and then you just run it through I don't know if you can see if my camera's in the shot enough see so run it through the machine and it comes out the other end and this sandwich that you made took that paper and put an impression on it so can you guys see that great okay so that was the layered leaves and we're going to be using this so I told you I was going to step it up now let me just get this out of the way and now you know how to use that big shot machine so let's go back to where we were now um, I'm going to show you a different way to do a ribbon other than just a bow too. So the card base is the Bermuda Bay and then this is going to go on top my next layer. So I'm going to go ahead and use the green glue. It's called, I should use the proper name, Tombow Mono Liquid Multi Glue. Tombow. Oops, I just went off on my Card, and then I just ran my thing through it so nice let's clean that up really quick that's what I love having this down okay so stick that on there and try to center it and again I'm off center so this gives me just a little time to move it into place the minute I saw this come out, I knew I had to have this embossing folder because it, isn't that neat? I just love it. Okay, I need to quit being so easily amused. Let's get out my stamp and pierce mat and let's set the base aside. And this time I wanted to go with the bigger image. So this paper is cut and I need the bigger um, block for this one. So let me get out my e-block. So stick that on there. So this is the big image. I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time. And I want, just in case I go off here, get that inked up and you know I do it both ways you can do it whatever makes you comfortable if you like to, to ink it up that direction you sure surely can okay so I'm gonna put a saying on this one so I want to get as much of this in here as possible maybe I'll do it this way Look, I got the whole thing. Okay, stamp that down. I'm not rocking it as I am pressing. If you rock, you'll, you'll usually get kind of a smeared image. So, there we go. Take that back off. So I know I'm gonna need, no, that's too big. Let's go with the, uh, which image? I'm going to do the really small one for that one and, and I'm going to do this one that has a little, I'll show you. I'm going to get smaller blocks. place these on. I could use the smallest little block, but sometimes I notice when I'm placing stuff, if I use just a little bit bigger one, I can see through the block my placement. So, and then I need the big leaf image too. And that should fit on the D block. 
So using that lemon lime twist, I'm going to go in and line up my image. Okay, then I'm going to use Bermuda Bay, and I'm going to start with that big one again, and I'm just going to test it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to start full image, and I'm going to turn it at stamped off, and I'm going to turn it again and stamped off. So it gets a little bit lighter each time but it kind of fills in that space. Oh, actually I'm gonna use the same color. I just don't wanna lose that stamp. I'm horribly known for losing them and then I blame my mother. Mom, are you on here? <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna go back again and then I'm just gonna turn it and go up to fill that in. Perfect. And that one's really tiny, so. Okay, so here's my image. Now, I think what I wanna do is, I love this saying, wishing you a lovely day. Isn't that great? I love it when I hear the British talk or the Aussies because they say lovely and we don't use that word very much here. Okay, wishing you a lovely day. And this is a lovely card we're making. So I can see through it to see where I wanna set it. And Let's see, am I gonna have this cockeye on here? I need to think this through. So I can mount this, oh, I just snarfed. I can mount this like this, or I could mount it like that and have a little interest. And I'm usually not one for um, offset stuff. I don't know if it's just, so I think I'm gonna do that though. So I'm going to ink it again just to make sure it's moist. And if I'm going to have it like that, I want to have this kind of... So to me it seems weird to have it not quite match that bottom of that. But I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit wonky. I'm, I'm in this um, card group, and it seems like we've had a lot of card challenges where they're kind of wonky, and I'm kind of starting to warm up to it. So I'm putting the green, green glue in the middle, but I'm kind of leaving it off on the outside edges a bit, just because when I go to stick it on here, I don't want it. There we go. So it's just a little wonka wonka, right? Cute. Let's bring the base back in. Okay, see where I'm going here? Let's get some more dimensionals. Those are paper pumpkin dimensionals I want. Okay, I'm gonna do one other thing. I am going to I'm going to take a piece of ribbon and I'm going to show you a different way to use it. So I'm just going to cut off a chunk of ribbon, not a very big piece, just enough to add a little bit of color to my project. 
and then I'm going to glue dot it in half. Look at that double glue dot. Okay, so I'm going to just stick this on here. There we go. And I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to glue dot it again. So I've made, can you see that? I've made just a little loop. Okay. Now let me look at this. Where the cardstock meets here, I'm going to take that, it's kind of a little lower, and I'm just going to stick that right to the back. See how I did that? And then I broke these two nails off, so I'm having a hard time getting these off. It's always on your right hand if you're right-handed. It seems like it's your index finger. You always break it off first. Okay. So there we go. And center it in. Wishing you a lovely day. Now, I'm going to take that Wink of Stella again. And I'm going to come back in to my flower. And I know you probably can't see this on camera, but I'm telling you, it's just this really little pretty shimmer on your projects on a new card. So, okay, I'm going to turn my head and look at the screen. What do you guys think? Can I see some hearts? Do you like it? Yay! Madison, I see you. I hate it when I snarf. Don't tease me. <laughs> oh, Bill, you like wonky? Wonky is good. Okay, I'm seeing wonky is good. Great. <laughs> okay, you guys, you're easy to please. Okay, so... I have no idea how long I've been going, and I hate that sometimes I maybe get kind of long, but do we want to see another? Because I have another that's really simple and really stinking cute, and I kind of feel like I am an artiste. Because I have one more sentiment in this stamp set that I want to use. Okay. So... Let me grab it here. So I'm looking at this, and of course this is like flourish and flowers, and but we had one um, tater. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. <laughs> I would love to get you stamping. So I'm going to call this my heart. Because I'm going to use the stamp set that says, You Warm My Heart. Or the stamp that says, You Warm My Heart. And let me get the supplies out for this. So, this is simple enough. But we're going to be using Flirty Flamingo Powder Pink. This was, two years ago, it was one of the in colors. This is this year's in color and calypso coral which actually was like five years ago and in color by the way but anyway i thought they kind of looked good and i made the mistake of making a card recently where i needed um calypso coral ribbon but it didn't look right for what I, the project that i was using the flirty flamingo matched much better and i started noticing these things kind of go together so we're using a nice little color. Although we do have, I am going to be using the Calypso Coral Ribbon, and that's from our um, celebration item. You get three different ribbons. And I really like it because it's, if you can see, it's got like a little, am I in camera? It's got like a little shimmer to it. You used to do a lot of stamping? What? For real? Tater, I'm talking to you. Really? I did not know that about you. Okay, so, um, 
So the big shot that I was showing you earlier, I'm also using the Sweet and Sassy um, die cuts. And I already kind of pre-cut them just to save some time. But you run it through the big shots just like we did um, with the with the embossing folder only you have it set at a different sandwich. So I have a Whisper White Heart, I have a um, Flirty Flamingo Heart, and I have a Potter Pink Heart that I cut using these. And I just kind of cut off a little scrap and cut them out. So anyway, this is how I store them. It's just on a magnetic. It's easier for me. And then it's in a big case where I can flip through them and see what I need. So to start this one off, we're going to do stamping You Warm My Heart. So I saw this and I thought, well, why didn't they have a heart in here? And then it kind of hit me. They do. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to look again. Still have some of your stuff things you don't know about people. Okay, so I'm going to have this stamped on the heart. Kind of. Mm, let's see. What am I going to do? I'm using Creative Liberty here. Tater, did your mom stamp? Okay. It's a little wonky, and that's the way I want it, because I don't necessarily like stuff where it's always even. So I just stamped that. Um, sentiment on the white heart. And then I'm going to grab... Because we are cool, that's why. <laughs> you are cool. Okay, so I was looking at this, and I started thinking, they have this, and here's all these flowers that we've been using that were the center, but they're kind of heart-shaped, right? So why not get inventive? So I'm going to take some blocks. I'm even going to use the teeny-weeny one, and I'm going to just put some on here. You're breaking all stereotypes, Tater. Tater has a huge beard. I would have never saw him as a stamper. I don't know why though, now that I think about it. Bill, if you're watching, Bill's got a, his isn't as long as yours, but he's got a pretty good sized beard too. And he stamps with me, so. Okay. So I want to start off and I'm going to do landscape this time. And we're going to open up some of these ink pads. Flirty Flamingo. Calypso Coral. Oh no, I'll put that in the wrong place. And Powder Pink. So I'm going to start with the biggest one. And actually, I need to, I need to put this together, I think, because I need a visual of where I'm going to stamp this. So I'm going to glue this heart behind it, kind of wonky again. Since you guys like the wonky term. And then I'm going to put that one. Just use Creative Liberty here. I thought this was kind of cool considering that this is a flower slash like flourish. Okay, so this is how I want my hearts that are going to be going on my 
focal as my focal point. So I want to do some background stamping with hearts. Maybe that was too many. Overkill on the glue dots. Or not glue dots, dimensionals. We like it good and stuck. I don't know why I took those off first, but I did. So I want the sentiment to be kind of straight, and I want it over to the side. So as I'm looking at that, I'm going to take that largest looking at where I might place that. We'll come back. This is the Calypso Coral over here, right? Yeah. So let's do Flirty Flamingo. And I think what I want to do is I want to overlap that a little bit. Kind of stamping around the image. I don't know if you're kind of getting the gist. Actually, I'm going to change up the. And I think they look kind of like little hearts. I don't know. Except when I stick one down. And then I'll go in with a teeny tiny one. I feel like I need more of the powder pink, but I want to change the angle of it. You seen what I'm doing here? I'm kind of building it. Where's that teeny one? Is that pretty good? Okay. You can't really go wrong, it's just your own personal taste. Okay, I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Before I continue closing these up, because I'm the first one to. Now, this time, instead of doing a bow and instead of doing a loop, I'm going to measure out here about what I want for ribbon. And I'm going to cut it at an angle, and that angle is not the same. Is this angle, so I'm going to cut this one down. So it's got a cut kind of on each end. You can see that. Nice. And I'm going to use my fast fuse because this is the really sticky one. It's stickier than the. And just run a row of that down. Stickier than the snail is what I was finishing saying. I get concentrating. Okay, now I'm going to place this down. And I think I'm going to change the color on a couple. So I'm going to go back in and kind of finish it out. Kind of like they're floating off. Great. Cute, right? It it just looked like hearts to me. And I thought, whoo. So now if we pop it down on a card base, oh my gosh, it is so cute. What can I say? Thank you. 
I love this color combination. I love this white. Oh, talk about wonky. Woohoo! Don't dry. There we go. I love it. And there's just a little bit. You could go in with a Wink of Stella if you wanted to. You could add a few more if you wanted to. Oh, I think it's cute. Can you see it? Okay. So, let's bring back. So, here was the first one. It was simple. It was basic. But it was pretty. Here was the second one. Here was the third one. I need to just move this out of the way. Now, it's just some good colored paper, ribbon, um, maybe a few die cuts or a few punches. And there's not a whole bunch of embellishments, but they're simple, they're crisp, they're clean. You guys like them? I don't know if they're all on there. All right. Should we do the drawing for, where did I put that? So two weeks ago, I made this in one of our videos. And I said, anybody who shared my video, I would send them one. And for free, just for sharing my video. I am trying so hard to get my business up and going. So, um... I appreciate very much the support that I get, and I'm normally not so much of a crier, but <laughs> um, my family has been super supportive, and I appreciate that so much, and all of my friends helping me, and I had some of you share my video um, two weeks ago to your Facebook page to help me get some um, acknowledgement and um, be visual on the internet and I appreciate that so I have put everybody's name into a well that doesn't really shake up very well does it um, into a tray here that shared my video and there was only six of you so any of you who are would love to share my video today I will do another drawing next week so okay so here we go. I got a couple of them that keep going together. Okay. I think maybe tonight we'll do two drawings. I think we'll do two drawings. I'm going to draw for last week, but then the week, um, I mean, two weeks ago, but then last week, um, since I wasn't, uh, I had forgot about this, I think I'm going to draw again, and I think I'm going to, I'm going to do two. So, um, I'm giving this away for two weeks ago, and then for last week, for everyone who stayed with me while I was feeling so horrible after my acupuncture, um, I'm going to do a drawing for Baker's Twine. So, okay, let's see. Ah! Laura! Laura Land! <laughs> you won this! <laughs> Didn't you just get a package for me? So this one I'm going to put for you. Yay! There we go. I will get this out to the mail um in the mail for you okay and then let's see what else we, have here. we got I put I'm scared on this because I, I put Bill in here just because he did share my video <laughs> so if I get Bill I'm gonna redraw but <laughs> okay here we go you ready everyone ready Okay, I will get you some Baker's Twine, and you live locally, so maybe I can just see you. So I'm going to hook this on to a, um, to, so I remember who gets it, and send you a Baker's Twine. Okay, so everyone else, I appreciate very, very much you helping me out. I'm looking for um, folks to join my team. This is the great time to do it. You can join um, 
with the basic package right now and I, I think it's $125 free for 99 bucks and then you get um, during celebrations you get two extra stamp sets um, on top of that and with a qualifying order your very first qualifying order I'm going to um, allow you to order a stamp set um, $20 or less um, through me as my gift to you for joining my team right now. Um, please follow me on YouTube. I have a YouTube. I have um, Facebook. Share my Facebook page. Let your friends know if there's anybody who's interested. And if I can earn your business, I sure would like to. Um, if you do anything right now, we're still in the middle of our celebrations where you can earn free stamp sets and stuff. Any $50 order gets you a free stamp set or ribbon, some of the ribbons that I used tonight, like this was one of them. Um, and um, you can find all that at PiccadillyStamping.com. Um, just remember that Piccadilly Stampin' doesn't have a G on it and I appreciate it. If you are going to order through my online store, which is actually um, on my Facebook, so there's a there's a shop now, um, use the host code XNA7CAW3. Um, I think now until the 10th, but if your orders are 150 or more, don't use that code because then you're going to be eligible for your own host rewards. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, Laura. <laughs> Kristen, that's great. We'll do some more drawings um, next week. And I appreciate everybody stopping in and, and visiting me. I hope you had a good time tonight. Bye-bye.